All right, let's take a look at a couple of classical games and their payoff matrices. The first, of course, being rock, scissors, paper. Hopefully you've seen that game before. Uh, rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper, paper beats rock. You should check to see that the payout matrix is this, using only uh, 0, 1, and negative 1 for draw, win, and lose. Now this game is fair in that all plays are sort of symmetric. And you can see that in the structure of this matrix. This matrix is what we call a skew symmetric matrix. That is, P transpose is minus P. So it's not quite symmetric, it's anti-symmetric or skew symmetric. Now, in this case, um, it, what do you do? What's the strategy? Well, it seems as though everything is, is sort of perfectly fair, um, that you should just try to pick something at random and, and, and hope that you break even. Uh, can you do better than that? Here's another really interesting example, something called the even odd game. You have two players, player odd and player even, and each one puts out either one or two fingers. You add those numbers together, and if that sum is odd, then player odd wins that amount. If the sum is even, then player even wins that amount. Okay, so uh, because there are two strategies for each player, the payout matrix is a two by two matrix. And you should check that it is this, negative two, three, three, negative four. So for example, if player odd puts out two fingers, player even puts out one finger, two plus one is three, player odd wins that amount. Okay, now you look at this and it's not clear what the best strategy is. If, if you could choose to be the odd or the even player, which would you pick? Is there an advantage? Um, it's not so clear. It's not so obvious. What do you do in this case? Well, this case still is not as complicated as it gets. Here is something called a, a Mendelssohn game, where now each player chooses either one, two, or three and puts out that many fingers. If they put out the same number of fingers, there's no payoff. If you put out one more than the other player, you lose one point. If you put out two more than the other player, you win two points. This is not so easy to, to analyze, to figure out. You should check that the payout matrix is the following three by three matrix. Notice it has that same sort of skew symmetry problem. That's, that's some sort of symmetry in the game. The rules are, are sort of the same. The choices are the same for the two players. But the strategy here is now completely obscure. What do you do? Should you go for the big payout sometimes? Should you play more conservatively? It's not obvious what to do.